What's up you guys? Hey, I just want to make a quick little video here because I'm going in to see a trauma right now. Basically, a patient went to an outside facility, was found to have, uh, after a fall, ha found to have a grade four splenic laceration. And uh, so I just want to talk about that real quick. So when you have blunt injury in the abdomen and chest, you can have a couple problems. You can have a hollow viscous injury, which is like a colon or small bowel rupture or a solid organ injury, which is like a spleen or liver uh, laceration, pancreas too sometimes, but mostly we're talking about spleen and liver. So uh, spleen is graded one to five, five being completely shattered uh, and basically has to be removed surgically. Uh, and then one being a little teeny ding and they grade them based on the centimeters and uh, of the laceration. We call it laceration, but it's almost like a crack of the organ. And the spleen is just really friable. And so when you have a crack <laughs> that uh, is too big, a lot of times it doesn't stop bleeding. And so grade three and four uh, can convert kind of, not really convert, but they can become dangerous in the fact that they don't stop bleeding and they hemorrhage, people hemorrhage uh, outside of the spleen into the abdomen. And the abdomen is an open space and you can bleed a lot. You can bleed your entire blood volume into the abdomen and then you can bleed to death. And so that's a really scary thing about the spleen, uh, mostly the liver somewhat too, but liver has to be really, really bad. So um, in these situations, we have to really want to stay on top of this and uh, make sure the patient is stable and make sure they're not continuing to bleed. One of the things we do is we get a CAT scan of the abdomen and that shows us the grading, what, how bad the liver or the spleen laceration is. And we can say whether it's still continuing to bleed, which is uh, on the CAT scan, it's, we call it contrast extravasation. That means the contrast that we give the patient that goes into the veins and into the artery, then goes outside of the artery and extravasates outside of the artery and outside of the spleen letting us know that it's continuing to bleed. So if that's the case, there's a couple options. And one of them is uh, what we call angiography or uh, angioembolization. And you can go, in, the radiologist, typically, the interventional radiologist typically does this and goes in through uh, the groin artery, goes, uh, snakes a wire into the splenic artery and then throws uh, some coagulation uh, material into the splenic artery or into the artery that's actually bleeding, continuing to bleed in the spleen, that can stop it. If that doesn't work, then a lot of times uh, the, you'll have to take the spleen out, which is done through a laparotomy. And I think I've kind of talked about this before, but anyway, I uh, just wanted to kind of make that quick little video since uh, I just got a call here. It's, this is the summertime. This is so, this is the summertime trauma uh is beginning here i think and people are out doing uh crazy stuff and these kind of things happen so it gets a little bit more busy in the summer so here we go hey if you guys like these videos you should share subscribe like and all that stuff comment definitely and if you are somebody that wants to go to med school and you want some help studying in general i have a video course that's called secret study hacks secretstudyhacks.com you can go check it out and i help you figure out how to study Stay motivated, concentrate, stay focused, and learn how to study like top med students because that's what I had a problem with. I had a 1.7 GPA in my second uh, year, second semester in college, and uh, I figured out how to study, and then I got straight A's after I figured out these uh, tricks here. So if you're in that situation, you want to learn how to study, go check it out. All right, see you guys next one.